Okay, now I'm going to show you how to go about extracting models and textures from Bioshock. Now, I'm going under Steam, which is where I got Bioshock. Go under Steam Apps, Common, Bioshock. Now, here's everything. Well, what you should do is, just so you don't ruin your game, because I'm sure you'd like to play it later, paste it onto your desktop, just copy it. It's going to take a bit of time. Okay, now what you want to do is open up Bioshock, your copy of it on your desktop. Go uh, back to U model. What you need to do is you need to go under Content, Maps. You need to copy the BSM file. Copy that straight into your U model folder. And like I said before, since uh, the the bat files, the way they're set up is uh, after it extracts everything, it deletes all the files you put in, except with what got extracted, so you don't have to clean it up or anything. You go under your bulk content, and you need to copy the BLK file of it. You need to copy the dynamic bulk file textures and the catalog. Now, the catalog won't get deleted. It just stays there. I don't know why, but you need all of that for it to work. So, even if you were going to pick the medical level, you'd have to pick the medical level, the BSM file that says medical level, and you need the catalog and the dynamic bulk file textures for everything to work. So, after this, copies over into your U-Model folder, you click on BU-Model, it's going to start extracting. Okay. Now that everything's extracted, as you see, catalog's still there, and you have a notify telling you if there was any errors or what was extracted or whatever. Note, um, you model can't uh, extract animations. I I don't know why. I think uh, Gilder might be working on that. People have been asking him to work on it and s such, but uh, it can extract models and textures, which I'm perfectly happy with. Now. The notify log, you don't need. You can just get rid of that. The catalog, you should just keep in there if you're going to extract any more Bioshock models. But as you can see, the BLK files and the BSM files, they're gone. It's because the, the BAT files took care of that for you. Now under here, you have your meshes, your skeletal meshes and your static meshes. Skeletal meshes is like people and anything that parts of it will move. And static meshes are like random things that are lying around that's just one piece so here you'll find like bottles and ammo and stuff and this will be like people and rag dolls and stuff like that now under your textures as you can see you have all your nice textures nice working they're all TGAs which is perfectly fine as long as you have something to open them with and they're not tiny little 16 by 16 pictures like you'd normally get if you forgot to include some files so I'm not completely sure which this one is but as you can see it's a full size image and you have your textures now all you gotta do is open up your models and your favorite model editor and slap on the textures and you're ready to go